it's Kim. In today's video, I'll go over the courses I took in first year, explain how I finished my breath requirements, and also share tips on how you can find an academic resource to succeed in EFT. I hope everyone is doing well and welcome back to another episode of EFT 101. If this is your first time here, my name is Kim and I'm an upper year student studying life sciences at the University of Toronto. First year students, I was in the same position as you not too long ago and I understand you might be experiencing stress, uncertainty, countless questions waiting to be answered as you start up a new chapter. And this COVID situation made it more challenging for students to transition to university. That's why I want to share information and resource that I've accumulated over the years. And I really hope my channel can provide you support and help in the midst of a difficult time. That being said, your feedbacks and comments are extremely important because it allows me to reflect on the things I need to improve and also make the kind of contents you guys are interested in. So make sure you leave a comment, give this video a like, subscribe to my channel, and share this video with your friends because these are times we should help each other out. So I'm going to start off with a little bit of background. I was first admitted to the life science program under the Faculty of Arts and Science at UT St. George. And right now I am double majoring in immunology and neuroscience. During my first year, I already had a few programs on my mind that are potentially what I want to pursue in later years. I was kind of lucky in a sense that the process of choosing courses was like packing a lunchbox. All I had to do was to take the prerequisite courses in order to enter my post and find electives to complete my breath. If you're feeling lost and confused about how to choose courses, make sure you check out my previous video where I share tips and planning tools that will make course selection a no-brainer. So feel free to click the link above to watch that video. So let's start with the fall session. For prerequisite courses, I took Bio 120, Chem 135, and Math 135. For electives, I took CCR 199 and GGR 107. In terms of the winter session, my prerequisite courses were Bio 130, Chem 136, and Psych 100. As for electives, I took PCL 102 and HPS 110. So in summary, I took five courses each semester which is like the course load most people will go with. That's a total of five FCE after first year. As you might already know, there are two options to fulfill your breath requirement and I happen to finish my breath via the second option. However, I want to point out that neither of these options is better than another because it depends on the courses you take. In my case, the system used these courses for my breath requirement. As you can see, I completed one FCE in three areas which are category 2, 4, and 5 and half FCE in the remaining two areas, which are category one and three. So after you add up everything, that is a total of four FCE. Hence, I've completed my breath after first year. If you saw my previous video, I told you that life science students should find electives from category one to three because courses such as bio or chem, which are completed as part of the life science program requirement, will count towards category four and five. Tip number one, find out midterms and exams as they will prepare you for the actual tests. For courses that were taught by the same instructor for years, the format and the type of questions they make is quite similar every year. Doing past tests will assess how ready you are and it's basically a study guide for you to focus on certain concepts. Most courses will post one or two midterms from the past for you to work on. If your professors did not post any tests or you want to look at more tests, there are additional resources available on campus and online. In terms of online resource, if you Google old exam repository and log in with your UTOR ID, you might be able to find old exams for the courses you're taking. If you're looking for old midterms, students who attend the St. George campus can always go to the Arts and Science Student Association at Sid Smith for past midterms. Tip number two, join Facebook group chats for the courses you're taking. People try to help each other out with course content and they will share useful resources on a chat. Okay, so I forgot to tell you guys that these chats are not made by a course instructors, so use them at your own risk and always consult your professors for accurate information. Tip number three, wait for the first few lectures and see if you really need a textbook. Speaking from my experience, I haven't bought a single textbook for arts courses I've taken because reading 
readings and papers are provided in place of an actual textbook. My advice is to wait for a first field class and determine if you really need a textbook by judging the style of teaching of your professor and the course structure. For life science students, many life science courses are lectured based, meaning that professors have their own slide deck and you can make your own notes based on those slides. If you don't mind using secondhand textbook, there is a Facebook group for U of T students to buy or sell used textbooks. I'm gonna leave a link in the description box for you to look at. Even though courses were harder in each of the following year, if I had to choose, first year is hands down the toughest year of my university experience. Don't let negative comments and people on the internet scare you. Because trust me, things will get better if you focus on yourself and your goals. Remind yourself, don't look for negatives if you want good things to happen. Like myself, your journey might be rocky from the start, but just remember, you're smarter and stronger than you realize, so don't let a few bad grades beat you down or determine who you are as a person. Let's say if you did bad on your first test, first of all, you can reflect on the things you did wrong, see how you can change your study technique, but most importantly, don't feel ashamed to ask for help. So please don't struggle alone. Feel free to ask me questions and I'll do my best to answer them. Thank you for watching this video. If this video was helpful, please don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. Till then, stay safe and connected and goodbye my friends. Bye.